Okay, these are the um, the passenger announcements, a lot of the um, kind of pronunciation mistakes that we've heard over the years, or that we keep hearing. Um, as you know, left and right, remember the L is like a la la la, ladies. American R is like a dog, Arr, ladies, ladies and la la la, ladies. I'll do a British, oh, oh, ladies, but la la la, oh, ladies. La la la, ladies. Some words, the pronunciation isn't so is very important, like mouth and mouse. My computer mouse, and on my face, my eyes, nose, and mouth. Important, different. However, things like this, gentlemen, 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 it doesn't matter. Also, some native speakers don't clearly say the t. We say they they just eat the t. Um, so there's a silent T. So if you say gentlemen, that's okay too. Um, your family name, your surname. I think, you know, there's a lot of people here, Captain Lee, Captain Kim. But we don't know anybody named Captain speaking. So say your name. You can, you can say your name. This is Captain Lee. This is Captain Kim. No, the. Or you can say, if, you, if someone says, this is the Captain speaking, Grammatically, it's correct. This is Captain Lee, Captain Kim. But nobody's name is Captain Speaking, or we haven't found that person yet. Right? So this is the Captain Speaking is correct, or this is Captain Lee Speaking. That's just the grammar. Welcome aboard Korean Air. It's not Cornier. Cornier. Korean Air. And the emphasis should go down in the end. Side grammar note, the previous instructor did not, Chris wasn't so happy, like, uh, well, because usually we say this to employees, welcome aboard. However, if, I, I don't really have an issue with it at all, so, um, also we don't want to use the call sign, right, so, because some guys say that. Airport, this is an important one, airport, it's not an F, it's not, it's not an airport. It's definitely not an air fart, a gongi bangui, <laughs> which, <laughs> which we've heard. Um, airport, a word that pilots should probably pronounce correctly. Why? Because this is a fort. And I suppose you can land a plane in here, but I don't know any airports that are in a fort that uh, the airline flies to. This is also in your house. You can make a cushion fort or a pillow fort. This, this, that, these, those. Now, if people maybe in the southern hemisphere could say this, that, these, and those, but better is this, that, these, those. If you say this, that, these, those, we understand. Maybe if you're maybe someone with a French accent or Egyptian, possibly. But just better is this, this, that, these, those. Flight. Flight. This flight. This flight is bound for. Not plight. That's a different word. Remember your teeth for the F are at the bottom. F flight. Flight. Plight is, you know, some crisis for, or some difficult time or struggle. You know, the plight of the Syrian refugees, the plight of the Syrian people, or the plight of the Koreans underneath the uh, Japanese rule. R. Are we are not war or bore teacher? We are we are bound for not we or we are we're bound for Tokyo Narita International Airport. Remember, sometimes if we say an, um, two F's, this flight is some guys will say this flight is bound for this flight is bound for this flight is bound for. Cruising. We are cruising. Zing. Not cruising. Singing is for church. La. Or in a karaoke. Or maybe in the street. Cruising. Practice the th sound to sound better. 35,000 feet. I need to fix this. Th 35,000 feet. 35,000 feet, we understand. But it's better, it just sounds better to say this. Happy birthday. Okay. Happy birthday. 
980 uh, or numbers like this. Now, most of the passengers are not pilots or you know air traffic controllers. So, uh, you know, if you say 980, 980 kilometers, 980 feet, something like this. Kilometers, kilometers, okay. Kilometers, okay. Me does not okay. Right. Minutes, minutes, no ch sound here. Minutes. Um, sometimes we need to separate words. We expect to. We expect to. Expect to. We expect to land. We expect to land. Um, some guys push these words together. Together. Current temperature. Current. Sometimes the Koreans will have a harder sound. The current temperature. Remember, temperature, not temperature. Temperature. Degrees, degrees, degrees. One degree, two degrees, zero degrees. By the way, in Google, is it minus one degree or minus one degrees? Which is it? Celsius. 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 Not Celsius. 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 Turbulence. Turbulence. Turbulence is correct. Turbulence. Not tubu. Turbulence. Turbulence. Fad. I know this is a German name, but we don't say fad. It's Fahrenheit in English. Uh, Fahrenheit. Not Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit. Uh, I think I've heard other languages, maybe the Russians say Fargenheit with a G. <laughs> Which is, I, I guess if that's what they say there, they're okay. But Fahrenheit. Fastened. Please keep your seatbelts fastened. Not fastened. Fastened. Please keep your seatbelts fastened while you're seated. Keep your. Please keep your. Please keep your seatbelts fastened while you're seated. Thank you. Not keen your. Keep your. Please keep your. Seated. While you're seated. Please keep your seatbelts fastened while you're seated. Seat is the noun. You know, the place. So please keep your seatbelts fastened while you're seated. While you are in your seats would be grammatically correct, but this is what they want. While you are seated. Here's an example of Michelle. Where is Obama? It's an empty seat. There's no one in that seat. Oh, I want to sit there. 